Welcome to How to Play the Trumpet, Part 4. Um, the last video we talked about how to hold the trumpet. Um, and the video before that we talked about how to get the instrument out of the case and put it together. And some of the parts of the instrument. If you go to Axon on Achievement Book 1, page 2 and 3, you'll see all of the things we talked about in those little videos. And so if you forget some of the things we talked about or you want to really make sure you understand it really well, read through those sections as well. Some of the things they may explain a little differently than I do, and that's just fine. Um, and you can learn both ways and work. do what works for you. If it works for you, do it, you know, if it's in there. And if, it, and if not, try some of the things I said, and, um, and then you can review these videos as many times as you want. And you can review the book as many times as you want. You have all those resources for you to learn those things. Uh, today we're going to work on um, how to form the embouchure. Now, embouchure is just a fancy word for how we form our how we form our lips when we play a brass instrument. So, um, so we're just talking about how to do that. We talked about that just really briefly at the end of the last video. But so on page four in your book. It goes through that in detail. Um, it's a, the whole section on forming the embouchure. There's a whole other section on producing your first tone, and then another section on practice tips. And I'm going to cover some of those things in this video, but by all means, and I would highly encourage you to go to that, that page in Accent on Achievement Book 1 for trumpet and review all of that as well. That will be really helpful. So, first of all, let's talk about the, how to form the embouchure. First thing you do is just moisten your lips just a little bit. Um, if your lips are real dry, it's kind of hard to, to produce a sound. Um, so you get your lips a little bit wet. And then um, you're going to, uh, like I said in the last video, say the letter M. And right where your lips end in saying that M, before you change your lips to say something different, that's where you want to leave your lips. M. M. So when you do that, your lips are together. And you notice that they're slightly curled in just a little bit. They're not like... They're not pooched out, you know, like duck face. They're in, okay? And the corners are get, will get nice and tight. And my, what I mean by that is that as you touch them, they're not as loose as if you relax your face like normal. They're loose, you know, you can move that corner around. But when you, when you do like the right embouchure, they don't move, that corner doesn't move as much. It's a little tighter. The muscles in there are, have cinched it in a little bit, okay? And then, again, make sure your lips are moist, put their lips together, and then just blow air out and see if you make a buzz. Now, a lot of kids can't do that as well right at first, so sometimes it's helpful to start with a mouthpiece. So you take the mouthpiece, I like to hold it just with two fingers and a thumb, and you bring that mouthpiece and you put that mouthpiece right in the center of your mouth, okay, this way. So center of the mouth, and it's totally fine to go look in a mirror and make sure you're putting it in the center, okay? And center of the mouth, and then halfway on the top lip, and halfway on the bottom lip, okay? And then form that M with your mouth, I mean that, that, that form your lips in the same way as we did, and then, and then push them together and blow. And try and make that buzzing sound with the mouthpiece, okay? Now, I've been holding my trumpet here. I'm actually going to set it down because we're not going to use that right now. So, so just just try and make that buzz with that mouthpiece. Okay. Now, the biggest thing you need to know about playing the trumpet right now is that if you can't make a buzz out of the mouthpiece, then you're not going to be able to play the trumpet. Okay. That's it's really important. So, a couple things to remember. Take lots of air in. Since this is a wind instrument, it requires air flow. So you have to breathe air in to have air to blow. Okay? So, as we're buzzing and breathing, we're going to do both of those things. You want to set your mouthpiece on your mouth and then breathe through the corners of your mouth and then play, okay? Not, this is the wrong way, to breathe and then put it on and play, okay? You wanna get it set first, breathe, play. All right, 
once you get that buzzing sound to happen, I want you to practice making that buzzing sound for as long as you can make it, okay? Time yourself. See if you can do it longer. Maybe practice with, a, with either friends or maybe somebody in your family. See who can do it the longest with just the mouthpiece, okay? So make a long buzzing sound, okay? When you feel like you've got that down, then I want you to practice trying to make that sound into different pitches. So by tightening our lips, we're going to make our pitch go up. Okay, and by loosening our lips, we're going to make our pitch go down. There's going to be a point where you loosen your lips too much and it doesn't play, and where you're tightening your lips too much and it doesn't play, right? And figure out where those points are. Experiment with that. Try and make those. They try and make your your range go even a little higher and a little lower each time. Okay, so buzzing your mouthpiece as long as you can, and then also going up and down, and then and then practice maybe doing this. Okay, and each time you go up, go higher, and each time you go low, go lower, and practice making those buzzing sounds on your on your mouthpiece. If you're finding it's not working. Go back to the way you form your embouchure, get those corners tight, breathe in air. And you can even start by just going like this. Right? Making sure you're doing that sound at the beginning with your air. Okay? So think of your airflow as like you're out in the middle of the summer and you have this hose and the water's just flowing. And you're in the backyard and the water's flowing out that hose. And you take your hand and you just go psh, 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 in that water. And you just created little segments of water as you went, right? And that's what's going on with our airflow. Okay? Only difference is we put our lips together and buzz them. But our airflow doesn't stop, okay? So practice that. Practice. Right? I never stopped my airflow, I just interrupted it like my hand interrupted the water, right? With my tongue. Okay, and practice longer ones. Or um, even longer. Okay, so practice that sound, and then when you're, when you're done making the sound, just stop blowing air. Okay, don't think about, don't stop with the tongue or anything else, just stop blowing air, okay? You just stop blowing air, okay? Um, so practice that mouthpiece buzzing as much as you can, okay? If you can do it for a half hour every day, that's going to set you up to be able to play your instrument, okay? This is the biggest key to playing a brass instrument is making a buzzing sound on the mouthpiece and make, being able to make that go high and low. If you can do that, and to make that tonguing sound while you pl play, then you're gonna, we're going to be fine, and we're going to teach you all the other stuff you need to know. Now, just lastly on this video, I'll talk about some practice tips. Um, just really make sure you have a place that you can practice regularly that you're not going to get interrupted. Somewhere where you can, can practice and work on your things so you don't have to feel embarrassed about everybody hearing what you're doing nor do you have to get interrupted oftentimes and stop what you're doing and, try and then try to restart again. And it's really hard to do that. So find somewhere where you can be. It might be your bedroom, might be your garage, might be your back patio, might be your parents' bedroom. Maybe that part's quieter in your house. I don't know. Somewhere. Okay, and if you can't find a place at your house from time to time, you have students whose parents say you can't practice anywhere here, and then practice after school in the band room and, and do that every single day. And we'll, nonetheless, we'll find somewhere for you, so make sure you can practice daily and regularly. Um, the next thing is um, try to practice things that you're struggling with, things that you're not very good at, and try to make those things better. And the way you do that is you slow it down. You break it into smaller segments, sometimes into just small measures or just small a couple notes at a time. Um, and practice it slowly until you get it down and then speed it up a little bit, add in more sections, and, and just practice the things you need to get really good at. Um, it's easy to practice the easy things. 
once you get a couple things down and you only want to play the two songs that you can know, that's easy. And, and, and there's a place for that, to play those songs and to enjoy playing. But then if you want to get better as a musician, find the things that you don't do very well and practice those things. And then just lastly, every day before you practice, and once we get to the trumpet and we're playing it daily, you're going to forget about just buzzing the mouthpiece. So try to remind yourself every day to buzz the mouthpiece only. Um, I like to do it in the, be the first part of my practice before I do anything else. I do some mouthpiece buzzing exercises. Um, that roller coaster one I did when I went up and down. Um, sometimes buzzing familiar tunes like Mary Had a Little Lamb or any other tune that you know how it goes. Buzz those tunes with your mouthpiece. Um, and just do a little bit of mouthpiece buzzing. Not more than you know five minutes of mouthpiece buzzing. But if you do that daily, you're going to continue to improve a lot faster than the other kids in class that aren't doing that. So that will be really helpful. Again, review any of the things on this video that you need help with and ask me, put comments uh, on this video or um, send me an email and I'd be happy to help you out. Uh, join us for our next video uh, we'll look in, we'll, where we will continue learning about the trumpet.